This is Ed Titus. Uh, I want to talk to you today about the aspect ratio, which we probably never touched based on. It's basically when you're looking at something, which is a lot of stuff now in high definition, you see the letterbox format. And it's nothing wrong with your television, it's just that you're watching it the way a movie is supposed to be seen. The way it's seen at the, the, the in the theater, and sometimes when you see it on television, you see the sign says this has been changed to fit your TV. Where they're actually cutting a piece from the left and the right side of the picture out, so you're missing a lot of the picture, and it shows it in the 4.3 form. And I'm gonna give you an example right here. I got looking at Bravo Channel in HD here on one of my monitors, and let me just pan over here to this monitor. This monitor right here. You see how it looks in, in 4.3, the size are cut off? These are widescreen monitors. You see that? That's 4.3 right there, and the sides are cut out on this side and then on that side. So, you see that? All right. Now, I got another video that I want you to focus on. We're going to pan to it down here. Let me turn this off. So stop focusing on that focus on this right here Let's see if we get this in clear Hit play another term we hear bandied about a lot is aspect ratio just what is an aspect ratio well it's a number that describes the relationship of the width of a picture to the height of a picture generally the height is described as the number one and the width describes how much longer than one unit high, the picture is wide. There's two principal aspect ratios, four by three and 16 by nine, and we'll talk about those in just a second. But first, why do we have aspect ratios in the first place? Well, as usual, it comes down to the competition between film and television. Back in the 1950s, film suddenly realized there was a competitor in the marketplace, and that was called television. And television was invented with a four by three aspect ratio. It's four units wide and three units high. So it's almost a square, but not quite. Four units wide by three units high. Yep, I'll stand by that number. I just had to think about it because I've only been using it most of my life, and I had to think about whether I was <laughs> using it right. And senility. Anyway, the uh, aspect ratio of four by three started in the 50s when you know Milton Berle and Lucille Ball burst on the scene and film needed to compete. So it said, what happens if we expand our image? Because if you think about it, the films that were shot before the 1950s were all four by three aspect ratios. They, you know, all the great films of the 30s and 40s, four by three. But now the film wanted to do something different. They wanted to give it more of a look that couldn't be represented on television. So they started to experiment. They went from a four by three aspect ratio from prior to 1950. Then Disney cartoons sort of got a little bit more horizontal. A four by three aspect ratio is 1.33 to one. So it's about 33% wider than it is tall. Disney cartoons, 1.66 to one, about 60% wider than it is tall. Most movies today are 1.78, 78% wider, 1.78 to 1, in an aspect ratio that we're more comfortable calling 16 by 9, 9 units high by 16 units wide. Epic movies like uh, Lord of the Rings are even wider. They're 2.35 to 1, uh, significantly long, horizontal, sweeping vistas, which are just not possible inside a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. Well, today, in standard definition video, we work with 4 by 3 aspect ratios. HD, on the other hand, gives us the ability to work with 16 by 9 and 4 by 3 aspect ratios, so we can get both a filmic look with a 16 by 9 wider than it is tall, or a nearly square look, the 4 by 3. 
And yes, it's also true that we can get 16 by 9 aspect ratios in DV as well, so I don't mean to discount that. Generally though, standard definition television 4x3, high definition television 16x9. And that brings me to two other terms I want to cover. One is letterboxing and the other is pillar box. Letterboxing is the process where we add black bars at the top and the bottom of the screen so we can fit a 16 by 9 image onto a 4 by 3 television screen. Pillar boxing, pillar boxing is just the opposite. Pillar boxing allows us to add black bars to the sides of the screen so we can fit a 4 by 3 image to a 16 by 9 screen. Letterboxing, black bars at the top and the bottom to fit a 16 by 9 screen onto a 4 by 3 screen. And pillar boxing, adding black bars to the side to fit a 4 by 3 image to a 16 by 9 screen. Next, we're going to talk about video outputs. That's it. Just wanted to explain that a little bit. We never touched based on that before, but uh, now you know. So there's nothing wrong with your TV. It's just you. TVs work fine and explains both versions of pillar boxing and letter boxing. Thanks for watching Ed Titus, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.